welcome back to another video. Today, we will be unboxing the Pixel 4. Now, I bought this off eBay for about $820 Australian dollars, and that is about $520, something like that, US dollars. I looked it up before, but I forgot all about it. Uh, so I thought this was a pretty good deal for what it is. Usually it sells down here for about uh, $1,049. Uh, but I thought, you know, it's only been a week and it's already dropped 200 bucks. So why not? So here it is. I'm just going to rip it open from its little satchel. This one came all the way down from Victoria. And I hope it is good. Nothing worse than having to deal with, um, you know, a disaster from eBay. Okay, apparently it was sealed in box and it looks pretty good. Pretty sealed, which is nice. That's always a good sign. So I got the orange one because I'm a sucker for limited edition things. And this is just the 64 gig version. Um, I will have to hide all these details now. But uh, yeah, just the normal 64 gig version. So let's open it up. One and two and let's do the revelation wow there we go the orange looks the same which is nice lift out its pocket that's looking very nice and i heard a lot of people talking about the sides here how it's like got this matte finish and boy does that look pretty good just some dust there there we go, okay. And that square camera is always nice. Okay, let's put that aside for the moment. I don't have any uh, cases or screen protectors just yet. So we're gonna have to take extra care of this. What's in the box, what do you get? Uh, okay, yes, that's just the tray. Documents and a SIM ejection tool, which is nice. We probably don't need that. You probably get Google stickers in here. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. I thought, yeah, I thought we had Google stickers. Oh, well, that's all right. We get the uh, Type-C Pixel Buds, which is really nice. I had to give mine away, uh, but these are handy, very good to use. I'm not sure if they come with uh, all of them out there, but I know Australian ones need to have headphones. And also in the box, we have our Type-C to Type-C cable, a USB Type-C to Type-A OTG adapter on the go. That's what it stands for and our wall adapter, which is white. So that's the same one. That's nice. Let's put that aside for the moment. And I was sure we get stickers. I was pretty sure you do. I guess not. Well, that's unfortunate. But anyways, let's set up our phone since we have everything here. Got my old Pixel 3, old. Uh, yeah, so old, so last year. Got my SIM ejection tool. Pop that open and whoopity whoop. Okay, put that aside. And uh, let's unwrap it. Okay, silence please. Ooh la la. Okay, that can step aside. I'll probably need to put that on. Uh, so there's one camera at the front, uh, it's got, yep, one camera, so I was looking at something else. Uh, at the bottom here, it's got, hopefully that's in focus, there we go, and that has a the downward firing speakers and the Type-C port, and on the back here we have the two cameras, flash, and all that good stuff, microphone and all that. Uh, volume rocker on the right hand side, as well as the uh, coloured power button. Of course, at the top there's nothing because there's no room for a headphone jack because we have the Soli, or Soli radio chip in there. And we can take a look at that real quick. So let's turn this guy on. There we go. Now I thought the screen would look a bit funny, I guess. Um, I guess when compared to well, something with kind of symmetrical bezels. So it's almost like the Pixel 3, but just a bit taller in terms of the screen that is. But, but 
by just a little bit it seems. Okay, so we get to set this up and it's very nice to hold this one which is pretty awesome and it feels a little bit thicker which is probably a good thing even though the battery is actually a little bit smaller than the previous generation which is unfortunate uh, and oh I can't wait to see the 90 Hertz screen which is something that I love okay don't have a sim card yes I do where do I put the sim card in on the left hand side let's do that real quick Pop this bad boy in there. And of course, uh, I didn't mention that there is no fingerprint reader. You would have probably already known that. Anyways, I'll get this set up and recorded, uh, not recorded, connected to Wi-Fi. And uh, we'll check it out a little bit later. Okay, so I just finished setting it up really briefly. I didn't add my Google account because we're going to root this thing sooner or later. And uh, just having a look at some of the motion sense kind of things and the 90 hertz display looking pretty good so far. Not that I can really capture it on camera. Uh, it goes up to 60 FPS. So, um, well, just pretend it's really smooth. Uh, but not as noticeable as something, say, something as drastic as some from 60 to 144 hertz or, you know, uh, things that you can find on monitors. Uh, but back to what I was saying about motion sense. It is pretty cool. So, well, before it worked, I don't know about now, but when you extend your hand towards it, it'll kind of go into this ambient display thing. And when you look at it, it'll unlock the phone. Of course, it has the facial scanning thing that works when your eyes are closed, but I'm sure they'll fix that later on because that's not very important, right? Um, but so far, uh, I just wanted to test out some of the Soli related ones, Soli. And for that, we will go to YouTube Music. So I finally found an app that works with Soli, and it appears to be the YouTube app, of all things, which is all right. I tried using SoundCloud uh, as before, and uh, it just wouldn't do anything. It doesn't light up uh, to indicate that you can use uh, the hand-waving gestures on it. As you'll see in a second, as I go back to YouTube, if I can work these gestures, um, or when I start playing things, you should be able to see this kind of glowing area at the top. So if I swipe on that, like so, it'll move over to the next video. And if I keep going, it'll keep moving until I find something that, ooh, jerry-rig everything. I want to watch that. And you can also go back and go through the list of songs, or videos rather, that you're watching. Uh, I can see that being annoying on YouTube, so I hope there's some kind of per app basis that it can enable it for. Uh, but you would think that it would work for anything that just has a music kind of notification. I'm not sure if that's a standard in the uh, part of the Android libraries and uh, all that kind of stuff, but I think it should automatically work with music players. It just seems a bit silly, um, but I guess that each developer must implement solely uh, into their apps for it to be supported. And even this older version of YouTube, it told me to update, supports it, which I find uh, quite interesting and you'll see that little uh, rift of light kind of go back and forth every time you swipe and every time it doesn't work. So obviously this is working quite well, sort of, but I think more intentional swipes will get it through the videos, which is quite cool. So that's an ad about TikTok, gross. Next, get away. Can I skip ads? Yes, I can, okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, you can just keep going through and going back and forth like so. It's actually pretty cool to use, but I hopefully uh, it does work with actual music players because I don't want that, or at least that to work with YouTube. So for example, with SoundCloud, it doesn't show the white thing and if I start playing stuff and I move over to the left or the right, it doesn't do anything, which is unfortunate, but I'm sure they'll work it out later on. Uh, so, what else? That's all, pretty much. The wallpaper reacts with it, which is nice. Can push little particles around. Uh, there should be a Pikachu, I think, as well. Okay, it really, it works more from left to right, right to left. I thought there was a Pikachu one, but, um, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. So, that is the Pixel 4, just an unboxing, and, uh, I really like the feel of it. The frosted glass on the back is uh, very nice to touch. 
um, which is the same as the Pixel 3, I suppose. There's not much difference in that regard. Uh, but these gestures, I'm looking forward to the developers who will mod these. And of course, there has already been a mod uh, to control the uh, swipey solely gestures. And we can take a look at that later on once I root this bad boy. So thanks for watching guys, and please stay tuned for tutorials on the Pixel 4. I can't wait to get this uh, primed and ready for tinkering. So thanks for watching guys, and as always, happy flashing.